Hello everybody, my name is Avery. Welcome to my channel. I never even say that. Anyways, today I'm going to kind of walk you guys through my room transformation. So when I first started filming this, I started in probably like January. So it's taken me like a couple months to um, actually finish everything. But when I was actually filming this video, I was just like talking and like nothing I was saying was like relevant or even making sense. So now I'm kind of just going to fill in the blanks between ev like all the clips that I have. But first I wanted to give a little bit of back story to my house in my room. This angle is so odd. I'm sorry, I'm really doing my best. When I first moved into this house like four years ago, it was just, I don't know, my parents, their whole goal was they wanted to buy an older house for like a lot less money and then flip the inside. So that is what they have been doing for the last like three years. My parents have done almost the whole entire house all by themselves um, with help from like family and stuff. So we started with like the living room and then we eventually moved into like my parents' room and then their bathroom and then like the kitchen and now they are finally getting to the downstairs, which has my bedroom. But when we first moved in here, we did do like a few little tiny things. Like we painted the walls and um, just like small stuff like that. Even before this room transformation, like I really did like my room. It just wasn't very practical and it wasn't very functional. I don't have a lot of storage. I had like a dresser that was kind of like the extent of my storage. And for some reason, I just have a lot of stuff. So my room was always messy because I just didn't have anywhere to put anything. So that was an issue. I had no storage. Um, my parents wanted to rip out the carpet. That is what they have been working on the whole time is ripping out the carpet from the downstairs and replacing it with wood. So we did do that. I have my iconic sink in my room that was just old and disgusting. My house is built in like the 80s, which isn't even that old, but like a sink that's been in my room for like 40 years, it was just gross. And I just even felt like no matter how much you clean it, you just can't clean something that's like 40 years old and has been used by like, who even knows who before I moved in here. I also just had too much stuff. I don't know. There was just a lot that factored into um, how this room transformation came to be. But the main thing is that my parents wanted to redo the floor. So I took that as an opportunity to just kind of give my room a whole entire makeover so I can have something that actually works for me, that's functional, that I have storage in, that's clean and just simple. The first matter of business was actually my collage wall. If you guys saw my old um, like zero to a 10 room transformation that I filmed like a year and a half ago, I cannot believe it's been that long. I put up this collage wall, which I really liked, but no matter how much tape I put on the photos, it would just would not stay on my wall. I'm sure there's other like adhesive methods that work better than just like some scotch tape that I could have done, but it was just annoying. I was just kind of sick of looking at it. It had run its course and I just wanted something a little bit more minimal minimalistic. So my parents actually took it upon themselves to take it down when I was out of town. So thanks parents. My parents actually started doing everything like the first steps when I was out of town because they told me they were gonna do it the weekend before when I was in town and then they started it the weekend that I was out of town. So some of this footage that you see is literally footage that like my mom and my stepdad shot by themselves. But anyway, so moving on from the collage wall, um, of course I had my bed right next to it. I had a, just like a white comforter that I got and then I spilled coffee on it and I don't even drink coffee. I swear to God, it was like the first time I ever bought coffee and like brought it to my house that I spilled it all, all over my white comforter. And then I put it in the washer and then it was just never to be seen again. Like I have no idea where it is. I literally, like I could not tell you what happened to it. It was just gone. I never even use comforters or sheets. I hate like taking my sheets apart. So I always just sleep on top of my bed. So I just found some like raggedy old blankets that we have that Evie has like, my dog has like torn up and I was just sleeping with those for like a while. It was fine. I also had like some old pillows and it was just like too much. I just wanted something simpler. I also have had the same sheets since I was like 10. I had like these dark gray sheets that I don't even think I showed in this video. But I just, it was time for an upgrade. Moving on to some actual furniture type things. So first thing is my dresser. My dresser was fine, but it just didn't hold everything that I needed it to hold. So I started with decluttering everything and like putting things in like donation piles and just kind of cleaning everything out of my dresser. I actually got really, really overwhelmed when I was doing this because for some reason I just don't really have the best organization skills so my mom had to step in and help me. I literally had like a breakdown for some reason. I know it's like a little bit dramatic but what can I say? So she kind of helped me with that process. I had like a bunch of clothes I needed to donate so I put those in bins, put those in my garage, um, kind of organize like tech stuff, just kind of put everything in piles. For that all to just go to waste because then my parents just ended up throwing everything on top of my bed. Okay, I gotta unplug one of these lights to move this so clip over. When I say I have nowhere to put anything, this is what I mean. 
I have so much stuff behind this mirror. Ooh, I'll deal with that later. Voiceover time. I can't lie, there are gonna be a few um, time lapse of me cleaning and just organizing. You can see literally the look of stress on my face right now um, because I was stressed as hell. But yeah, I'm literally just like cleaning everything out and just putting it God even knows where because I was just throwing everything on my floor. But here's some footage that my parents got. You did wrong, yeah. Order. It is. It really is. <laughs> and it's disgusting. This is what it feels like, but it's yeah. it's just a small room with not enough. Yeah. So here you can see everything on my bed. Um, they're actually taking apart all of the baseboards around my room. So they started with like taking on my closet doors. Maybe she didn't move my doors on there. And then ripped off the baseboards and then they um, started ripping the carpet out, started ripping the baseboards off of the wall. You can see what's going on. Um, but yeah, this footage of my 411 mom carrying like a shit ton of carpet is so funny to me. I'm sorry, mom. It is that. That's weird. But yeah, this was quite the process. We found some weird ass stuff in my wall someone left a little bit of treasure for us um there's like a superman sticker a teeth flosser which is literally disgusting some coins i don't even know what else is sitting right there honestly but the next couple days we literally just spent putting in all the wood it was a really complicated process apparently i don't know i didn't do it but my stepdad said it was really hard so i also had a desk which i never used the only reason i did use it well i actually used to have an imac instead of like a laptop and then that just wasn't functional because i was like leaving and like going out of town sometimes and I needed to work. So I obviously could not bring my iMac with me. So I sold that. Ever since that, I just have not used my desk. Like I literally, I don't sit there. I don't do my makeup there. I don't do anything with my desk. The only reason that it was ever functional was when I had that iMac and then I had two little drawers for storage. My little stepsister actually just got her own room because we had a guest room that just needed like a big makeover. So my parents did that. Then she had her own room. So she got all of my old furniture. So that desk and that dresser are both being handed down to my little stepsister. Sister. Moving on to my sink. What can I say? My sink literally is probably my favorite part of my room. I use it every day. I don't have to share sinks with three little kids. I just needed a new sink. Like it was so disgusting. I just, I can't even explain it. Like I literally just felt gross, like touching it. Like the top of it was like starting to get gritty because it was just so old and gross. I took it upon myself to buy a new one. But since my house is so old, like my house has so many weird things about it because it is like I'm not saying it's the oldest house in the world but like 40 years old that's pretty old my sink because my house was so old was like built so low to the ground and I'm really tall or not really tall I'm 5'8 I had to like bend over and literally break my back to like actually use the sink because it was so low um so there were a few complications with that because like the where the water connects to the sink was like really low so it took a few days to actually like I had to go buy some different parts and stuff so it would actually we could actually like connect it all together. Disgusting. What to do? We can take her bone and take her out somewhere because you've got to carry this mm -hmm. stuff. Poke it with that it's... long stick behind Is there a tail or something? Am I missing something? Mm. What yeah. is that? Papa! We have all those other mirrors. Because you might use the same kind of thing. Ah! <laughs> Straight up. Oh, that's heavy. Got it? Yeah. I did yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> After ripping out the sink, um, my new one finally came. So we didn't really realize we had to assemble it because it came in like huge boxes, but I don't know. It took us a while, I can't lie.
basically we're worried about where this because this is gonna go like underneath here because it's so low it's so low on the ground that i don't know if it's gonna fit like in this area where the sink goes if that makes sense but we have it almost done i am gonna pray to god that the actual this fits under here or you're gonna be able to see all the wall then I just really quickly want to make it known that I said that we were going to be able to see all the wall and my parents kept telling me that the sink is going to be able to cover it and you'll see what happens. Well, the doors are going to be on it. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I can, I can still just tell by looking you at it. It's not as tall. You won't be able to see anything here. Oh, that's a pretty good fit. Yeah, that's way more. I think what I can do, I have a three or four inch hole saw. Cut a hole like right here, and then I'm gonna take that off, slide that over, and hook it up underneath. Should we call Mario? Let's call Luigi. <laughs> Nicer. And then of course we had to fix the wall because my parents didn't believe me when I said that you're gonna be able to see it and the sink was not going to be able to cover it. I was getting footage for my video. <laughs> Excuse my heat. I know it's so freaking loud, but we actually had a lot of complications with the sink when I ordered it It was supposed to come in two packages Then it said that it was only coming in one So then I called them and was like hey this says it's only coming in one package But it says that they're supposed to be two But the only one is coming and they're like, okay We'll send you a new one and then they sent me a new one And then I got an email that said it was coming in August And so I called to cancel it and then I got three packages at my door that were a sink So I don't know we it it all worked out, it's here now. But because we just had a bunch of complications, I didn't have my sink for like a week and damn, I took that for granted. My life felt whole again once I actually got it to work. Now everything's okay. Um, I kind of forgot to mention this. This was more of my parents' project than mine. I know in these videos, they are doing a lot of stuff because they are flipping the whole entire house. Like it wasn't like, hey, let's just redo my room. They are doing everything. Like this is why they bought the house so they could flip it and make it into the house that they wanted to. So honestly, this was more their project than mine. It took a couple of days to rip all the carpet out and then put all the all the wood in because it was just kind of like a complicated process. So it was like really stressful because I kept having to like have all literally almost everything I own in like small little places in my room because I couldn't set it anywhere else because then my stepdad would come and like put a few more things of wood in. I don't know, it was just weird. Like I felt really bad mentally when my room was just like a complete show. I literally had no furniture. So everything I own was like on my ground or on my floor, but then I didn't really have like a floor. It was just like cement and like a couple pieces of wood. I don't know, I just felt horrible. Like I, it really messed with me mentally for some reason to just like not have just like a nice clean room and just have it be like completely destroyed. Um, I don't think I filmed over the course of those couple days because it literally like, I just felt awful. My bed was literally just like covered with dust. It was like, I just had like so much stuff on my bed and like I literally had to take everything I own and like put it on my bed and then like take it off to go to sleep. Like, oh my God. I didn't really realize how much stuff I owned. I did get rid of a lot of stuff and donate a lot of stuff. I don't know, man. I don't know how I have that much stuff. So now I'm going to talk about the whole process of actually putting my room together. Once I put the sink in and once the floor was done, everything just kind of went up from there. Kind of going back in time for a second before I put my sink in, this is what my room looked like. Um, I literally just don't even ask. I literally, I don't know. Like I just had stuff everywhere. Um, this was before I got my dresser. So that's what really sucked. Here's me attempting, attempting to clean and literally just putting stuff from piles into different piles. Um, it was just, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely a start because I was getting things ready to put in like my dressers and stuff, but it just still sucked literally having everything on the floor. Um, it just felt kind of useless, but I don't know. It eventually worked out. Once I got my dressers, everything just really fell into place and it was a lot better. Um, but once again, here are some just montages of me attempting to clean, getting everything together, even though I feel like I didn't really do that much, but I don't know. It literally, just like in each clip, it literally just gets worse and worse and I just don't know how. For this little box right here, I have been using this for so long to keep all of my makeup and hair products in here. And once I get my dressers from Aspen, I'm going to transfer all of this 
into there. These are kind of kind of ugly. So when I was out of town, I got my um I don't even know. I guess these are just like dressers and like cupboards. These are actually handed down from Aspen. She said they're like eight different IKEA pieces put together. I know I'm going to get questions on where they're from. I literally like they're from IKEA, but I don't know what pieces and stuff it is. It's been a couple days. Um I was gone for like almost 5 days, I think. I went to LA for a minute and then I was in Florida, which was an absolute show. And now that I'm home, I have arrived to a bunch of ba uh, boxes and packages and stuff with stuff for my room. First things first, I wanted to show you guys. I got ch color changing light bulbs. Honestly, they're not as bright as I thought they would be, but I don't know. I'll have to make it work. That's the first thing I got. I'm actually really excited about them because I feel like I can do some really fun photos with those. Um, as you can see behind me, I finally got my little dressers. These are actually secondhand from Aspen, so um, I didn't have to buy like huge new things and I probably wasn't going to. I was probably gonna try and thrift something. Luckily, I didn't have to, so thanks Aspen for these. I think the next part of this video is actually going to be getting these organized because because um, I still have like a ton of stuff on my floor and I just need to get it all in my room. Um, my mom started to put stuff in here. This is kind of like a tedious process of just like putting things in different drawers, but I think it will help a lot. These actually have a lot more space than I thought they were going to have. They're a lot bigger than I thought they were because I'd only ever seen them in like pictures that Aspen sent me. But I think they're really cute. They look really cute under my shelf. I know my shelf is super messy as well and I need to like declutter a lot of stuff. I just have a ton of stuff like shoved up the sh okay shoved up there mm. wow more time lapses of me putting stuff away um in just this few seconds i'm gonna show you guys like an update of my room but seriously having these dressers like i have space for everything which i have not had since i moved in here so it was just i don't know it was just a really nice feeling to be like hey this has a space this is what the rest of my room kind of looks like i just got ready so everything right here i just barely used and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this clothing rack. It takes up a lot of space. I just barely got back from Orlando. There's a nice uh, box of tampons there for you. Here's what my bed looks like. I haven't put any of my bedding on there, but I do have all of my bedding here, thank God. And then there's my dressers. Yeah, that's kind of what everything is looking like right now. Thanks, Aspen. She didn't want these anymore, so she gave them to me, which is really nice because, wow, now I have so much storage. I have so, like I just have a place for everything now. I even have like a few like empty drawers. I think I only have one empty drawer, but like, hey, I still have a place for everything. That was also another big step to everything coming together, obviously. I got a little nightstand, which I think is really, really cute and really nice because before, in like my old room, I just had like a table where I would set everything. So it just looked really, really messy. And I had just like a pile of stuff sitting on a table. I just decorated the top. It has a drawer where I can put a bunch of um, like all that stuff that I had on top is now in a drawer. So it's all in a place where you don't see it. And yeah, it's really nice. I just have like my switch in there. I have like just different bedside stuff. I have like books in there. Um, my rug. I I don't really have much to say about it. I got a rug because I feel like when you have wood floor, you need like a rug in your room. And I love it. I love my rug. It's like a perfect size. It's linked down below. I have almost everything in my room linked down below. And I promise this time, I know I've said that before and it links weren't there, but I already have the links put together when I'm filming this. So I know they're down there. I think one of the last things is my bed. I got a lot of stuff off of Urban. I really don't love shopping from Urban. But I can't lie, like they just have some cute bedding stuff. They really do. Really quick before we start this um, room decor haul, I just wanted to say sorry. Like I was such an, I was in such a bitchy mood. I don't know why. I don't know if I sound like a little bitch, it's because I was being one. I'm getting down to the wire of this room transformation. I have a few things I want to open and show you guys. So let's get started. Actually, I'll show you guys what I already um, have opened. For some reason, I, when I was gone, my mom decided to open a few of my packages. So I will be suing her because that is illegal to open someone else's mail. The first thing I got, I got these sheets that are made from eucalyptus. So they are just better for the environment because that's a good um, material to make things out of. I got this really cute little like orange throw blanket. I also got some two new pillowcases. The sheets that I have do come with uh, pillowcases, the blue ones, but how I wanted my bed to go was basically I wanted two big pillows, four like regular sleeping pillows, and then one just like cute little accent pillow. And I wanted white um, covers for two of the pillows. So I got some white ones. I also got a duvet and I'm just realizing, or a duvet cover and I'm just realizing that I don't have a duvet. I used to, I don't know where it went. 
I got two of these giant pillows that I'm literally going to keep in this plastic packaging until I can actually put them on my bed. I need to wash my sheets first. My new sheets because I don't trust, I don't know, I just, I need to wash them. I think I'm going to run to Target and get a duvet cover because I want to get this, like, I'm, I'm so tired of, like, having my room be such a hole. It's been like this for weeks now, and I just, like, need to get everything put away. We're getting there. I really am getting there. I'm getting excited. I'm going to go wash my sheets now. I forgot to open this box when I was sitting down, but this was just my little accent pillow. So then I just kind of have like the finishing touches. My room still isn't perfect. It really is almost there, but it's just not quite. Like I have like a few empty pots on my shelf that I want to get plants in, but I haven't been going out. I also want to get like a new jewelry holder because I have like a bunch of necklaces just like hanging from a nail. Just small little details like that. But those plans kind of got shut down because of quarantine and everything. And I'm just not gonna postpone this video until who even knows when because I don't have like plants on my shelves. Here's me kind of taking everything off my bed to get ready for my new um, bedding but I got some footage of me moving my bed into that place and for some reason it's really funny to me so I'm gonna leave it in so here's me and my mom attempting to move my bed yes you have to she's running away I don't care are you the boss I'm trying to I'm trying to freaking get her oh easy <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to you were all okay. so annoying Finally, the moment that I had been waiting for to put all of my bedding together because sleeping on my other bed, it, it really was fine. Like it wasn't a big deal. It's just like after we started the construction, like it just felt so gross because there was like so much dust everywhere from like just doing everything. So I don't know. I just felt really gross like sleeping in my bed because it literally was just so like it was just covered with dust. So um, I was really excited to have all this new clean stuff. Welcome to my room tour. So I do have a few before and after. So here are before and after of my shelves, of course. Not too much of a difference, just kind of decluttered. This corner had a big glow up. It was just full of so much stuff and now it just has my guitar and my amp and of course my little plants hanging above it. Um, on my dresser, I have my candle from Anthropology that smells bomb. It just, I literally have no words. Like it just, everything has just changed so much and it just looks so much better so um i have my dressers of course like i've mentioned 10 million times um before of my bed and after of course i have my mark on my wall where i was moving my bed and scratched all the paint off then i just have my pillows new sheets fresh bedding new blanket um that's really soft and really comfortable then my bedside table we all know what that looked like 
major glow up as well. Um, I actually have some space where I can put stuff inside of it now. And then my sink, of course, also had a huge glow up. I cannot lie. Um, it just feels so much cleaner and nicer now. I just have my little towel hanging up. Um, I have a plant and some jewelry, soap, of course. Then I have some more jewelry hung up. My rug, um, I didn't really have like a shot of just like my carpet, but I don't know. I'm sure you can imagine what carpet looks like, so yeah that was my room tour i hope you guys liked it um i know it is kind of a little bit on like the more minimalistic side i know a lot of people like to really go all out with decorating their rooms and have stuff all over the wall and blah 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 that's just not me it kind of stresses me out i feel more at peace having it um more minimalistic but what can i say that's just my style and then i was posing for a thumbnail and it was a good angle and you can kind of see my whole room so here is me sitting and just posing for a thumbnail i don't know i think it looks really cute and it's just really really refreshing and nice so um now moving on to the proper outro i hope you guys enjoyed this room transformation i'm really happy with how it is i hope this maybe gives you some inspiration to clean up your room or make some few change make a few changes to it once again i'm really happy with it and i also wanted to say thank you to my parents for doing a lot of the work i promise i asked to help and they just told me they wanted me out of their face yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you can give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell if you want because then you'll get notified when i post all right peace out goodbye everyone Mwah. have a good day